Hello everyone, this is INS Ever, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a virtual audio cable with OBS Studio to record your microphone, your chat, so Discord, Skype, TeamSpeak, whatever else you use to talk to your friends and also to hear them, and as well as your your desktop, so whatever you're using, which is either your music, your games, whatever you're using for that. And I guess let's get started on it. Okay, so first things first, you're going to need voice meter. This is the main program we're going to be using. It's free, um, doesn't require any payment unless you want some extra virtual cab audio cables. Um, so first things first, install it. I would suggest just downloading and installing it. It's quicker. Um, after that's done, it'll ask you to restart. Do not restart. Come back and go to virtual audio cable and download this. This will be in it. A kind of like a package so it'll look something like this so what you'll want to do is you'll want to set it up as by clicking one of the exes it'll be in a zip folder so you can either click into it or extract it I suggest extracting it it's easier gets things done faster um, and then set up for whatever you need then once that's done it'll ask you to restart your computer and go ahead and do that it's quick easy and then come back to this video um, if you don't already have these installed and then once you're done with that, you're going to want to um, come down into your playback devices, which is under your uh, audio. So what you normally use to turn up and down your audio, right click on it, and there will be a playback devices in there. So bring up something like this. If speakers is your default, make sure you come down and set this as default, and then make sure out input audio is set as default communications. That's just precaution. That's what I do. Um, then you'll want to click on the icon for voice meter, which you'll see is, you know, not too big of a deal. It's right here. So that's where I put mine anyways. You can put yours wherever you want, uh, desktop, whatever. Then what we'll do here is we'll make sure this is cable output. After you've made hardware input cable output, you'll want to click A or off click B, because if you click on it, it'll put it on. So off click B, make sure A is unselected on here, then come over to A1 and make sure this is your speakers, which is your default. Um, once that's done, you can exit out of that. We won't be needing it anymore. Um, it should just run in the background from now on. And then we're going to go on to our, device, our ch chat. I guess. Um, this is Discord. Shout out to AI Gaming. This is where I do most of my chat with friends and stuff. So you're going to want to go to user settings. And this applies for Skype. It applies for TeamSpeak, whatever you're using. Under your voice settings, so like your where what's coming in and what's going out. So like your microphone, make sure this is your microphone. I have it set to my headset microphone because that's what I normally use when I'm chatting. And then I have my output device set to cable input. Make sure that's cable input. Um, once that's done, you can just click done and your chat's set up. Now for OBS Studio, what we'll want to do in this case is we'll want to go into settings, into audio, which is important, audio. Voice meter input will be your desktop audio device. And your desktop audio device two is cable input. And this is whatever microphone you're using, whether it's your regular microphone or headset microphone, whatever you use, make sure that's selected. And then you're going to click apply, click OK. Once you've done that, it will have three audio channels. In these audio channels, you want to make sure that your first, your tr tracks that you want in order are set in order. So say you want um, mic auxiliary, um, so your microphone, set to one. Um, desktop audio 2, I always set it to 2, and then my regular desktop to 3. So whatever you decide you want to set those to, just make sure everything is unchecked that you don't want. So like, if this is checked, it would record my desktop audio with my desktop audio 2 and combine them, and we don't want that. So don't do that. <laughs> that would be stupid to do. So once that's done, in order to test to see if it works, um, go back to your Discord or your Skype or whatever, make a call, whatever you do. In this case, I just deafen myself, and you should hear it. Um, but if you look down here, Desktop Audio 2 
is going up and down every time I click it because it makes a small noise. Um, then to test if your uh, desktop audio is working, I'm just using YouTube Audio Library and I'm just going to click play on it. Maybe if it works, if it wants to, I may have to reopen it. There we go. And see, desktop audio is now running and shows you that's running. I'll probably turn it down um, in the edit, which I will show you right now. I'm going to stop recording, restart it, and show you what I'm talking about, how it splits the audio. Okay, so we're back. And as you can see here, this is the recording I just did. And what it does is if you look here, about right here, there's some audio. And right here, there's some audio. So it's recording these separate channels. And this is my voice, obviously, as I'm talking and saying stuff. So what happens is, is it allows me to change the volume to change if someone said something I can bleep them out without having to just completely go over every single audio channel which is a thing you can do but it's kind of annoying when you just want one spot but you still want the audio from the game so if you look at it there is three different audio tracks and if I play it all whatever you do in this case I just deafen myself and you should hear it um, but if you look down here desktop audio 2 is going up and down every time I click it because it makes there we go and see desktop audio is not running and it shows you that's running I'll probably turn so what will happen is if I didn't want to listen to myself all I'd have to do is just click mute and let's go back to that point and there we are and you can't hear my voice you can only hear the audio that I was playing at that time so it's just one of those things where it makes it really easy and fun. I mean, you can mute multiple channels, you can solo tracks, whatever you do with it. Um, I'm also sorry if it looks kind of weird. I edit on two screens, so I have like my video on one and my audio on one, and then on my other I have like a bunch of files sitting there and effects and stuff. So that's that. And I don't know if that's all. Let's see. I think that's everything. Um... I mean, if you have any problems, I would say the most common problem I've had is when you have a monitor with a speaker, it has a tendency to override your uh, audio, so your virtual audio cable, and set that first. So what you'll have to do then is reset it and undo your default as um, the monitor back to voice meter, so your vo voice meter is still there. Um, sometimes it requires a restart. I had to do that multiple times when I upgrade or updated my graphics card drivers. Um, best way to avoid it is just to plug it into a separate system. So I have a sound system that I can use my speakers on and I just plug my headphones into. And that's what I use and I just unplug them whenever I don't want to use my headphones and plug them in when I do. So I think that's the best fix for that. Um, there may be better, but I'd say it's not, you know, that big of a deal whatever you decide um but yeah so that's the virtual audio cable setup that i have for obs studio and this will work for anything um for twitch i don't think it works very well because twitch only allows you to record one channel anyway but if you do a local recording and twitch i think it does work for that so just make sure you set it up for that way um it's not too hard it's the same thing just you know twitch instead but I guess this has been INS Everett, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.